Magandang araw! Welcome to Itulay Online Tutorial. I'm Tutor Arlene, a teacher from San Fabian National High School, Senior High School, SDO, Pangasinan 2. Ang subject natin ngayon, Inquiries, Investigations, and Immersion. For Quarter 2, Week 1, Module 1. For the most essential learning competency, prepare as a plan, and focus on issues and ideas in their respective field. Here goes, the conduct of research plays a significant role in our daily life. It makes our life comfortable. So the things that we use and the life we enjoy now is all because of research. Research is the best and reliable way to understand and act on the different issues that the human race is facing nowadays. So when you, when you have a problem, you get puzzled, or you usually think of a solution. So questions arise in, the, in your minds like, what will happen next, or what will be its effect? Here comes the role of research. Research helps and gives a solution to the problems you face. So when you are satisfied with the results, this will then help to the advancement of society. So there are millions of research topics that you can choose from our society. But how do we select a good research topic? So in the following lesson, you will find out what the characteristics of a good research topic are and how to choose a topic. So at the end of this module, you are expected to define inquiries, investigations, and immersion. Discuss the qualities of a good research topic. Create mind maps and concept maps in brainstorming for research topics and choose a research topic and write a research title. Before we proceed, let's see how much do you know. Let's have some exercises. Okay, how, let, let's see you can answer these questions. Question one, which of the following refers to systematic inquiry that utilizes a formal method of studying a problem with the ultimate goal of expanding an existing value of knowledge? Is it A, immersion, B, inquiry, C, investigation, or D, research? Let's see you get the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, research. Let's see for the next question number two. What do you call the formal inquiry that requires a thorough attempt to learn the facts about something complex or hidden? Is it A, immersion, B, inquiry, C, investigation, or D, research? Okay, so what's your answer? Okay, letter C, investigation. Next, question number three. A researcher engages himself in the data he gathered by reading and analyzing the findings of his research study. What did the researcher do? A. Immersion B. Inquiry C. Investigation or D. Research Again, let's see the correct answer. A. Immersion Another question, number four, what do you call the process of asking for information through investigation? Again, A, immersion, B, inquiry, C, investigation, or D, research. Okay, the correct answer is B, inquiry. And the last, question number five. What course aims to further strengthen the critical thinking and problem-solving skills of senior high school students through the conduct of qualitative, quantitative, or mixed method researches? A. Inquiries, investigation, and immersion. B. Qualitative research. C. Quantitative research. Or D. Work immersion. And the correct answer a. Inquiries, Investigations, and Immersion. Now, with these questions, let's go to Lesson 1, Defining Inquiries, Investigations, and Immersion. So what is Inquiries, Investigation, and Immersion? 
Okay, so it is all about research. In your research one and the research two, you have studied on qualitative and quantitative research. Now, in inquiries, investigations, and immersion, this course aims to further strengthen your critical thinking and problem-solving skills through the conduct of a qualitative, quantitative, or mixed method researches. Concerning your interest, experiences in immersion and senior high school journey. According to Paulette and Beck, as cited by Bernardes 2011, research is a systematic inquiry that utilizes a formal method of studying a problem with the ultimate goal of expanding an existing body of knowledge. Okay, inquiry, an inquiry is asking for information through, the in, through investigation. So it requires learners to engage in active learning by generating their questions, seeking out an answer, and exploring the problem. On the other hand, an investigation is defined as a formal inquiry. It is formal because it is systematic, minute, and requires a thorough attempt to learn the facts about something complex or hidden. Immersion is the process by which the researchers engage themselves in the data they've gathered by reading or analyzing the findings of the study. Okay, now let's go to the characteristics of a good research topic. A good research topic should be one, number one, specific. Okay, number two, relevant three clear okay four well defined and well phrased five achievable and accessible next next the language should be simple interesting beneficial measurable the research topic must fit the essence of the acronym smart specific measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bounded. And the last one, essential. Okay, let's go to brainstorming for a research topic. Selecting a topic is the first step in writing your research paper. So pick a topic that interests you. Narrow down your topic and do advanced readings in encyclopedia, dictionaries, or handbooks. You can also use journals or browse books to get an idea on your research topic. For example, you want to research about the coronavirus. This topic is still too broad and you need to further specify it. An example of a more specific topic about the coronavirus is the psychological effects of coronavirus to the teachers of Region 1. So brainstorming can help you in choosing a research topic. So it is a method to use generate ideas in a given specific topic. It encourages individuals to come up with thoughts and ideas that can be crafted into original, creative solutions to a problem, while others can give even more ideas. Brainstorming can be done through the use of concept maps and mind maps. A mind map is a type of graphic organizer that uses a diagram to visually organize concepts and ideas. The topic is placed in the center of the diagram and then related ideas are added to it in a circular manner. Figure one, mind map. You can see in the mind map, the center is education, okay? Education is a very broad topic. So we can simplify it for more uh, simple topics like K-12 curriculum, study habits, teaching styles, the learning delivery modalities, learning styles. For the K-12 curriculum, we have subtopics like SHS implementation, academic performance, spiral curriculum. For the study habits, you can do on time management, multiple intelligences, motivation. For the teaching styles, the delegator, the facilitator, the demonstrator. For the learning modalities, 
you can do on modular learning, online learning, or homeschooling. Learning styles, we have the independent, avoidant, and the dependent. Concept maps are outlines for visualizing the relationship between broad cross-functional ideas. With the use of boxes or circles and connecting lines, concept maps connect ideas and illustrate their relationship to each other. So it is a diagram that goes from the top to bottom of a page with the core concepts. Figure two, concept map. Okay, we have the topic education, which is very broad. We can simplify these topics into K-12 curriculum, study habits, learning styles, teaching styles, and the learning with delivery modalities. K-12 curriculum can be further simplified into SHS implementation, spiral curriculum, and the academic performance. For the study habits, we have the multiple intelligences, time management, and motivation. For learning styles, we have the dependent, avoidant, and independent. For the teaching styles, the demonstrator, facilitator, and the delegator. Okay. For the learning the delivery modalities, we can simplify it in modular learning, online learning, and homeschooling. Okay, so given the examples of research topic in the maps, you can decide on a research title for your study. For example, you choose academic performance as your research topic. Make it even narrower to come up with a research title. An example for this is improving the test scores of technical vocational livelihood or TVL students in earth and life science through open educational resources or the OER. So it's simplifying you ito. You will get the test course of the technical vocational livelihood students in earth and life science. Okay. And then so gagawa kayo siya ng mga questionnaires and then mag-load kayo ng questionnaires and then you you compute for their average weighted mean and then you will see which of those questions are 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 the result in your research study okay and then you can make your summary and conclusions and then your recommendations so as stated by bernardes 2011 we should consider the following questions in formulating the research title okay remember there is this three questions in formulating a research title the first one what is the main focus of the problem second what are the major issues that should be included in the study and number three does this does the title embody the major problems or issues that sought to be investigated so remember these three formulating questions can you pick one topic from the mind map or the concept map? Okay, let's have some exercises, then write a research title. Okay. Okay, have you come up with your research title? Following these questions, in formulating your research title, again, may I repeat, what is the main focus of the problem? What are the major issues that should be included in the study? And does the title embody the major problems or issues that sought to be investigated? Pwede natin itagalog. Okay. What is the main focus? Ano ang focus nyo sa inyong problem? Or is there a problem in your mind that you want to investigate and fight for a solution? Okay. What are the major issues that should be included in the study? Anong issue ang mga yon? Does the title embody the major problems or issues sought to be investigated? Okay, so doon ba sa topic nyo sa research title, uh, doon yung problem na nasa isip nyo na gusto nyo yung gawal ng solusyon? Again, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa pag-formulate ng inyong research title. Ako po si Tutor Arlene, Ma'am Arlene R. Fernandez from San Fabian National High School SDO Pangasinan 2. Hanggang sa muling pagkikita at panunood, magkita-kita po tayo ulit sa susunod na lesson. Magandang araw!